Okay, we have another interesting integral today. We have the integral of x squared over x to the fourth plus one dx. And this one, so this is interesting. This integral is surprisingly very similar to one over x to the fourth plus one. Anyway, let's get started with this. Now, you could do um, partial fractions. We could complete the square and the denominator and do it that way, but I'm gonna avoid that for today. And you, know, you notice like, if this was an x cubed, we'd be really set up for a u substitution, but it's not quite as nice in this case. You could mess with it, I don't know. Um, but you probably, maybe you could figure something out with a u substitution, I just didn't try that. What I wanted to do is use the similar method to what I did with, um, I did previously in, in a, um, a video on one over x to the fourth plus one. And what we do with that is we try to manipulate this numerator to get it into something we can work with a little better. And one thing I want to recall is I know that I can do this integral if I have x squared plus 1 over x to the 4th plus 1. Now, we could create that by adding a 1 and subtracting a 1 that way. And then we could split this up and we have this integral we know. The only problem is this other integral, we'd be left with 1 of, over x to the 4th plus 1, let's say. And that's actually not any easier than this. We'd kind of still be in the same predicament. So this strategy is not quite doing it for me, but what I could do is, instead of this, this isn't gonna really help me, but what I could do is, I also know how to integrate x squared minus one. Now this is pretty nice if we split it this way. Now the only problem is we need to, we can't change our um, numerator, right? We, we need to get this back to x squared. So one thing to keep in mind is we, this is nice, but we can't change our numerator. We have an x squared up here and we can't mess with that. And if we just look at what happens when we put these together in the numerator, this is going to be the x squareds are going to cancel, we're going to have a 2. But I can change this pretty easy. Let's just make this minus into a plus, and then let's see what happens. If we add, if we were just to add x squared plus 1 to x squared minus 1, we end up with 2x squared, and the 1s cancel, and so we just have 2x squared. That's close, all we need to do is multiply this by a one half, and we're left with x squared. So what we can do is take this whole thing, because this is all x squared, and we'll replace our numerator. Okay, after all that, what I've done is totally rewritten the numerator, just noticing that I haven't changed it. This whole thing is still just x squared in our numerator, the same as what we have here. You may think, okay, this is way more complicated now, right? We got all, this more, all these more things, but actually we can break this into two integrals, and I'm saying that both these integrals are pretty doable, so this is actually gonna help us out. Now from here, all I've done is I just split this into two integrals and brought our half out front, distributing the half. And now we just need to figure out how do we integrate these two things. Well, I have a trick that we've done in some previous videos, and what we're gonna do on both of these is multiply numerator and denominator by one over x squared, and I think you'll see this is gonna help quite a bit. So we just need to distribute this in here. Let's see how this goes. We're gonna have one half, x squared times one over x squared is just one plus one over x squared. And then here multiplying this and we're gonna have x squared plus one over x squared. Then we're gonna do the same exact thing here on the right and get something really similar. What I wanna do is I wanna rewrite this numerator in a way that I can do a u substitution and then we can integrate this thing. So let's see how that's gonna look. Okay, so now I've rewritten my denominators. Notice we just have this one minor change here. So let's just start with the left. If we multiply this out, we get, if we square this out, we get x squared plus one over x squared, but then we have a minus two doing the inner terms. So I, I changed that, I fixed that by adding a plus two so that we're not changing this. And then here we square this and we get x squared plus one over x squared plus a two, we subtract it off so we haven't changed that. And the question you might have now is why do I have a, why did I do it with a minus sign here and a plus sign here? Well, like I said, I wanna do a u substitution and when I do the u substitution, taking the derivative here, notice we get a negative power here. So a negative power with this minus sign is gonna create this plus. And then here, the minus sign with a plus is gonna create the minus. So let's just see how that works when we do our u substitution. I'm gonna make this my u, and we'll call this t. So we're using a different variable. Okay, so we have u equals x. And I think to make, we'll write this as x to the minus one just to make the differentiation more clear. And over here, we're gonna have x plus x to the negative one. Then when we take our derivative on the left, our du, derivative of x is one, 
derivative here, power rule, is going to be plus x to the minus 2, and that's going to be exactly this up here. So this can be written as 1 over x squared. And then here for our dt, derivative of x is 1, derivative of x to the minus 1 is minus x to the minus 2, but again, we can write that as 1 over x squared. This is our dt right here. So now I'm going to make my substitution. We're going to have 1 half du here over u squared plus 2, but I'm going to write my 2 as square root of 2 squared just to set up the integration we're going to do in a minute, plus a half. Then this piece, oh, I forgot a dx. I'm in trouble. Um, okay, so this is going to be our dt right here in the numerator, and then we're going to have u squared minus, and we'll do the same trick over here. Okay, sorry, I had this as a u over here, this is a t, so I'm getting my variables crossed, but I fixed it. So what I did over here on the right side, we have, for integrals of this type, u squared plus a squared, we can use our arctan formula like this. And then for integrals of this type, where we have this difference in the denominator, we can use our inverse tanch formula. So using these formulas, let's see what we get. We're going to have 1 over 2, we're going to have our a, so in both cases our a is square root of 2. So we're going to have 1 over square root of 2 tan inverse u over square root of 2, then plus 1 half. Then here, we don't forget we have this minus sign right here. So we have minus 1 over square root of 2 hyperbolic inverse tangent t over square root of 2. And then before we back substitute, I'm just going to rearrange. You know what I like to do on this t is get a common denominator. So I'm going to write my t as x squared plus 1 over x, just creating a multiplying this x by x over x. And then we'll do the exact same kind of thing on our u. And our u is going to be x squared minus 1 over x. So then as we, so let's get our final answer now. We're going to combine these two here. We're going to have 1 over 2 square root of 2 arctan, our u, which we turn into x squared minus 1 over x, but don't forget a square root of 2. And then here, plus, this is, actually we have this minus, so let's change this to a minus 1 over 2 square root of 2, tanch inverse, um, what's t? x squared plus 1 over x square root of 2 plus c. And that's it, that'll be our final solution. And I think, I wanna say my, the answer when you just have a one instead of the x squared, I think the only difference is this sign here. Anyway, we'll stop it there. Thank you again for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.